check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Hello everyone! Our target most essential learning competency for this video is Give Expanded Definition of Words In the previous lesson, you were able to understand the differences between technical and operational definitions. This time, you will learn how to give expanded definitions using various ways. You will be needing this skill as you write your research report or research paper. For example, sa pagkukompose pa lang ng introduction mo or background of your topic sa chapter 1, you will need to define important terminologies. And here, I'm not talking about short and simple dictionary definitions, but we are talking about expanded definitions to make ideas and concepts clearer. An expanded definition is a one or more paragraphs that attempt to explain a complex term. Some terms may be so important in your report, there may be so much confusion about them, or they may be so difficult to understand that an expanded discussion is vital for the success of your report. An expanded definition starts with a full definition of a term, that is, one sentence definition, and then expands to at least one paragraph long or more. Here is an example of a full definition. Ito yung pinaka-basic form of defining terms. Carbohydrates are a food group including sugars, starches, and cellulose. In this particular definition, we actually follow a certain pattern. That is, the term to define, the general class to which the term belongs, and a distinguishing characteristic which separates the term from the other members of the same class. This is pattern 1. For example, when we talk about food groups, hindi lang naman carbohydrate ang food group. We also have others such as protein and calcium-rich food groups. So, mahalaga talagang mag-include ng characteristic ng term na dinedefine to separate it from its similar class. Another pattern is this, ni-reverse lang. A food group including sugars, starches, and cellulose is carbohydrates. This time, nauna na yung class, followed by the characteristic, then the term. Here are other examples. Take note that the word in bold face is the term defined. The underlined is the class to which the term belongs, and the italicized is the distinguishing characteristic. Number 1. An algorithm is a finite description of a finite number of steps required to accomplish some well-defined task. Number 2. Computer memory is one of three basic components of a computer which stores information for future use, both the data that will be operated on as well as the programs that direct the operations to be performed. Number 3. Reservoir rock is a type of rock that has sufficient porosity and permeability to allow gas and oil to accumulate and be produced in commercial quantities. Number 4. Influenza is an acute, highly contagious infection of the respiratory tract which occurs sporadically or in epidemics and that lasts up to months. Let's go back to our first example. Carbohydrates are a food group including sugars, starches, and cellulose. 
This definition in sentence form can become an expanded definition which is our topic by expanding it into paragraph form. Let's see how it goes. Here, the first sentence which is, Carbohydrates are a food group including sugars, starches, and cellulose is our full definition. Then, the sentences that follow compose the expanded definition. Let's have some sort of analysis kung paano nabuo ang expanded definition na ito. Carbohydrates can also be defined chemically as neutral compounds of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. This part is an additional definition. The body breaks down most sugars and starches into glucose, a simple sugar that the body can use to feed its cells. This is a process narration. Dietary intake of complex carbohydrates can lower blood cholesterol when they are substituted for saturated fat. This part naman shows effect. Carbohydrates are classified into mono, di, tri, poly, and heterosaccharides. This part contributes to the definition by citing the classifications of the term. The smallest carbohydrates are monosaccharides such as glucose, whereas polysaccharides such as starch, cellulose, and glycogen can be large and even indeterminate in length. This last sentence also contributes to the definition of the term carbohydrates by providing examples. Those are just some of the ways on how to compose the expanded definition of a certain terminology. Now, we will shift on the detailed discussion of the various ways of giving the expanded definition. In the following examples that I'll show you, the first sentence in blue is the full definition. Then, the sentence in black is the expanded definition of the term. Number 1. Anyone born between 1981 and 1996, ages 23 to 38 in 2019, is considered a millennial. Millennials are mostly watching television and exposed in using different social media applications. Based on the given example, the first way of composing an expanded definition is through description. Dito din describe kung ano ang millennials, and that is, most of them are watching television and are exposed in using different social media application. Next example. Generation transition is the process of shifting from one generation to another. Generation transition takes place after different considerations and factors. First, after a big movement in society such as technological explosion which paved way for the different generations. The expanded definition is a process narration, meaning in explain dito yung proseso kung paano nagaganap ang generation transition. As mentioned, generation transition takes place after a big movement in society such as technological explosion. Ngayon naman, dugtungan na lang natin yung previous example. Generation transition is also defined as the changes happening in lifestyle and social interaction which leads to significant differences. This time, the last sentence is an additional definition or karagdagang definition lamang of the term generation transition. Another way of giving an expanded definition is by providing historical background. Generation Y is known as the generation which was born between the early 1980s and the early 2000s. Generation Y evolved during 1996 or 1997, which was named as I-Generation or Generation Z by different philosophers because of their distinct peculiarity in using social media and technology. Number 5. Generation transition 
is the process of shifting from one generation to another. Research proved that transition of generations has caused millennials to encounter societal problems which influenced how they raised their children. This one is an expanded definition that shows a cause related to the term being defined. Number 6. You may also include the effects related to the term being defined. Take a look at the additional sentence at the end. As a result, Generation Z becomes more sensitive with their savings and future matters. If the term being defined represents a problem or solution, you may also use it as an expanded definition. Generation transition really affects even the environment that some areas are sacrificed for development. This part is the problem. However, it can be a way to fix the gap by starting a new generation which cares for nature. This part is the solution. Also, you may discuss statistics or numerical data related to the term defined such as percentage, amounts, and others. According to the research, there are 2 billions of Generation Z in the world. If you think that it would also help to discuss the uses and applications related to the term, you may do so. Generation Z is also used to determine different significant involvement of human intelligence and way of interaction. If there are similar or different terminologies, or if there's a need for an analogy, include them. Look at this example. If millennials are called as Generation Y, I generation is called as Generation Z, but they are both exposed in internet and social media. You may also consider the classes, types, or categories where the term belongs. Generation transition includes all different generations and some of these are Generation X, Millennials, and I-Generation. You can also provide examples that contribute to the definition of term. Generation Z people can be the young TikTok users, young vloggers, and young social media influencers. You can also include etymology or word origins. For example, the letter I in I generation means individualized because they are independent which they use in different manners. If you think that explaining what the term is not or what it does not could help to further clarify the term, then do so. This is somehow showing how the term differs from others in the same class. Look at the example. The terms Generation Y and Generation Z are not really related in their generations because they just follow the name Generation X. And lastly, you can also discuss some advantages and disadvantages that are related to the term. Generation transition really improves technology, which gives ease to people. However, some values fade out. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!